All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a oil change on a 2019 Nissan Frontier with the V6 4.0. Uh, these are the things you're gonna need. So it takes about six quarts of 5W30 synthetic, and then there's a whole list of oil filters that you can use. This is, I usually use mobile one, but this is the one that they had in stock. Um, and then this is the, Walmart had this 12 quart bag of oil for on sale for like, I think it was like 40 bucks for 12 quarts. So it's like two oil changes. So that was a pretty good save if you can find it. And it uses like 87% less plastic. So if you're into that kind of thing. And so you're going to need a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, oil filter, filter wrench, funnel, well, you might not need that. And then a drain pan. So, uh, this has the two inch lift on it already, so no need for jacks or anything. Um, I also removed all the plastics that were all here because they were a real pain. And then, hey bud. And then, uh, they also had this, oh, they still do, this little drain pan right here, or tab, so that the oil filter can drain and then go into your bucket. Um, but the original stuff is gonna have a little door right here, um, but it's a real pain to get your hand in there. So, find it easier to do it this way, just take all this plastic off. Doesn't really do anything anyway. Um, so makes maintenance a lot easier. And then, so oil filter location right here, right over the sway bar, um, which makes kind of a mess if you don't take all that plastic off. So and then if you just go straight back from the filter, you can get your drain plug right here. So that's your 14. Dude. I'll get the wrench here. Start stripping, pull it out real fast, and then what you can do, make it drain faster, just come up here, and then take your oil fill cap off right here. Sometimes they're pretty tight, so. The heat just heats that up. So you just grab your adjustable. Just put that on the little bar here. And push. There we go, broke it free. So just that O-ring gets tight. So let's set that there. We'll let that drain. And then grab, let's see if it's good enough. Still dripping, but. So, still dripping. Might be able to, nah. Pan's not big enough. Drain both at the same time. So we'll wait for that for a second. Let's see. So I guess I can go over it while that's draining. We'll go over the lift that I put on here. So it was just the, 
the block spacer that goes up here. Um, it's fairly simple to take apart um, and put on, and it turned out pretty good. I was able to put oversized tires on here. Um, it turned out looking pretty nice. So, still plenty of room in there. And you can see we got. 265, 75, 16s on there. It says you can take 30s, but I wanted a little, a little room in here. Um, let's see. Yeah. That turned out pretty nice. Alright, it's pretty much just dribbling now, so. We'll make sure we'll take the drain plug, make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure that little copper washer's still good. So if you over compress it, then it'll get kind of smushed out, so you don't want to do that. But I'll probably change that washer on the next one. But should be good for now. Yeah, you just want to make sure it's clean. So then you just put it on. And then just don't over tighten it. Then you're changing a pan. Give it a nice little snug down, and it shouldn't leak. And just throw that on the table. Cool. So that's drained. Go to the oil filter. So you're gonna put your turn on like that. Snake it in there. I might be able to get it by hand though. I don't usually put these on too tight. Alright, there we go. We'll see how this thing drains here. Kind of drains off this little not sure if you just crack the oil filter and let it drain a little bit you can see how even with all the plastics off it just gets all over your torsion bar and then if you got all that plastic under there then it's gonna drip and you're gonna think it's a leak but it's not it's just res residue that you can get off with all the plastics on there so let that drain a little bit there we go So the mobile one that I usually get is M1110A, which is a lot of cars actually, so it's probably why they didn't have any. And with the filters, you just want to make sure that your, your O-ring here comes off when you take it off, so you don't want to leave the O-ring on there, because then you'll get a double O-ring. and. Uh, that's gonna cause leaks, never gonna seal. So, just make sure that you go up there and just wipe off the surface. Just make sure there's no grime or anything around it. Shouldn't be. And if you wipe it off, then you know for sure that you don't have an extra O-ring on there. Let that do its thing, and 
Now I'll figure out this box. I've never actually used one of these boxes before. Ooh. Assuming it's gonna have a little nozzle or something. Let's see. <laughs> Got a package in the picture. Alright. Instructions. Rip that. Pull neck tab out. This way or this way? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright, so you got this little nozzle here. And. I'm assuming they want you to kind of notch that little plastic into the cardboard, but the cardboard's kind of funky, so we'll skip that stuff. Alright. So that'll be interesting. I wonder how fast it comes out. And, oops. Uh, when you're putting oil filters on, you want to just make sure you put a little oil around this seal so that it's not as tight to get off of there. Oh, man. Alright. Try to do it with one handy. I'm doing an oil change, bud. You can see the oil? Yeah? Alright, I gotta put this. Alright, so that thing comes comes out pretty quick, but it's nice to turn. It's got an on-off switch right there. And you just want to fill up your oil filter. Not a lot, because that angle is going to be pretty bad anyway. So, I just like to get some in there. And then you can see how it absorbs into the paper. So... So I want to do a little pre-fill before you put it on there. Just get that paper ready to go, that way the oil is flowing nice. Alright, man. That's pretty much stopped draining. So we'll thread that back on. And... Maybe. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Uh, and you're spinning on nice. And you just, you're gonna get it to where it touches the gasket there, or o ring. And you're gonna just snug it hand tight. And just a little quarter turn after. Right about there. So, you don't wanna use tools to put these on, because then taking them off is a real pain. So. It's not. Why not? Because I'm afraid you'll drop it and oil. Nah. It'll be fine. <laughs> Alright. So now, uh, I'm not going to video this, but because it's going to be a tricky getting it from that into one of my old oil containers into here um 
but maybe I'll take a picture or something, but it's pretty easy. Just put the funnel in there. There we go. And then that makes it nice and easy so you don't spill it everywhere. So, yeah, you just do that. And then your oil dipsticks right here. So you're just gonna check that when you're done. Cool. All right, thanks for watching.